the latest release for 20, Apache Class Check introduces a new native provider for its backup and recovery framework. It's called NAS. This provider can be used to configure a shared storage as a backup repository. The good thing about this provider is the flexibility to choose any available storage you have that supports NFS. With this release, this provider supports on a KVM hypervisor. Let's see how you can configure this backup and recovery provider. I'm logging in as the root admin user here. In order to configure this um, provider or plugin, first we need to have the backup and recovery framework enabled. So I have it enabled already. Uh, by default, it's disabled, so we need to enable this. Um, then for the backup and recovery provider plugin, we need to input the string NAS. Um, you have to restart the class tech management service so that it takes effect. I have this restart already. That's the reason I have this option here, backup repository in the UI. So as you can see, I've added my uh, repo as well here. Uh, the way to add that is you input a name uh, and input the whole URL like I have done here, the entire URL for your uh, NFS share, uh, the server address and the uh, path. Then for the type, you select NFS and if you have any uh, bound point options, you can input that as well. Then you select the zone where you want to configure this backup uh, repository. So once that is done, we need to configure the backup offering. So I have this uh, backup offering added already here. As you can see, uh, the way to do that would be to type in the uh, backup offering name, input that, um, then select the zone, and you have to select the external ID. External ID is nothing but the backup repository which you have. Uh, configured uh, just now and allow the user driven backup so that uh, everyone in the uh, cloud can use this backup offering. I don't have to do that because I have already configured it as you can see here. So uh, let me log out um, and then log in as a normal user. So as you can see, I have two instances over, over here, uh, one data server, one app server as well. So I have to go over here and assign instance to backup offering. So I have associated uh, both the instances, so they are protected. Now what I can do is I can back up those instances, start the backup. It's another ad hoc backup. And I can do that for the other instance as well. So this will take a while depending on the size of the uh, volumes, uh, the actual physical size in the primary storage, uh, the network performance, the, it is actually done at the high, KV hypervisor. Um, so the connectivity between your KVM and the uh, NFS uh, share um, that you have configured as a repo it depends on those. So I have the data server backed up now. Let's see whether it's uh, backed up. So as you can see here, it's backed up. And there is one more way to configure this. You can configure a uh, backup schedule like uh, it is done for uh, volume snapshots. That is a way to configure scheduled backups as well. You can configure hourly and select a time zone. Then you will see it's uh, added here. Your schedules, you can add daily uh, snapshots at uh, 12 a.m. for example. Um, then select a time zone. So you have multiple uh, backups uh, that runs here. So these are uh, scheduled uh, backups. So if you have configured your uh, backups in either way, your instance is protected. In case of any data loss, you can 
restore the instances from this backup. So you go over to the backup that you've select, uh, created earlier um, and restore the instance from backup. So this will restore the instance from your backup repository. So for this, your instance should be stopped, first of all. Another option here is to attach one of the volumes from that backup to another instance, then restore the data from that volume. This is how uh, we can configure NAS backup and recovery a provider in a cluster exploiters release 420. Associate um, the backup offering to instances, take backup and restore them. Thank you for watching.